Hello and welcome to the fifth tutorial of this series and today's lesson will be based on controlling the objects by moving it, rotating and resizing it using the buttons within the toolbar section here. Now this will be a very short tutorial but an important one in creating or controlling our objects. I know we're still exploring a lot of the basic details but we're we'll moving on to the more complex stuff as soon as possible. To start off, head over to the command panel on the right and make sure we've got a create tab selected and the geometry. Now click on box and head right back to your perspective viewport. Click and drag within it to create a box of any size, but make sure it's not too big or too small. Now once you've created your object, you might want to move it around the scene or even rotate it. Now to move your object, just head over to the toolbar section and click on the select and move button. As soon as you do that, you notice we've got this red, green and blue axis displayed around our object. This allows us to move it within our scene by either using the perspective viewport or any of these other viewports around. Now, if you want to move your object within the different axis, all you have to do is hover over any of the arrows and that will allow you to move it towards any direction within the axis. So I'll just do that to show you. And if you want to move it around without too many restrictions, you just go in the center until you see the yellow highlight appear. Now in this case, we'll be moving it towards the Y and the X axis that's why they're both in yellow and as soon as you click that and drag you can now move it around without without it being stuck to to one direction and same applies if you move your mouse slightly higher and now we've got the z and x selected and this allows us to move it up and down and if you go to this as well, now we've got the Z and Y. Then we can move it according, accordingly as well. Now you can also move your object by going to the other viewport and moving it as you see fit. So for example here, then I'll go to the front, move it there, and move it there. And then from the top. Now here, as long as you don't want to move it, um, going up, you can control most of it from your top viewport. 